Hello creatives, I'm Joanna Penn and this is a tutorial on how to sell ebooks and audiobooks direct to your audience. Just a little introduction, I write non-fiction as Joanna Penn and thrillers and dark fantasy as J.F. Penn and I've been selling direct for ooh, ooh, about a decade through various technological solutions and I'm going to show you what I'm currently using. You can download these slides at thecreativepen.com forward slash sell direct tutorial and I will put that link up at the end and there are all the notes there and you can download the slides so don't worry you don't need to take too many notes. In this video I'm going to go through why sell direct anyway and when is it worth selling direct, your technological options and why I use Payhip with BookFunnel, how to sell more books direct and then I'll get into the actual technological tutorial. I'll take you behind the scenes and show you the setup for ebooks and audiobooks in BookFunnel and with Payhip and I'll test the process and show you how it works. Right, let's get into it. So why sell direct anyway? Why even go down this route? Well, probably the biggest reason is the higher royalties or higher percentage of sale. You can get 80 to 90% even with the transaction fees. And that is a lot better than going through any other publishing service. You can also make that money quickly. So if you buy an ebook or an audiobook directly from me, I get the money within minutes, certainly within hours. Whereas if you publish through any of the other online stores, it might take 30, 60 or 90 days and if you go through a traditional publisher it might take months, sometimes even years if you're going to sell your books to various different places. So that speed is really important. There's also the global reach because many people forget this, if you're living in a country where you can easily buy ebooks and audiobooks onto easily accessible apps but these apps are not available to everyone all over the world so I love having the option to sell direct to people who might not be able to use some of the other stores. And of course, some people choose to shop in this way. First of all, to support creators so the money goes directly to the author and also so that the money doesn't go to some of these big companies. And so it's increasingly an ethical choice to buy direct from creators. Then there's also the data. You actually know who your customer is. So you probably realize that if someone buys your book on any of the big stores, you don't know who they are. Sure, you might get an email sign up eventually or an email from a new fan, but for most of our book sales, we do not know who the customer is. But if you sell direct, you do get their uh, name, their email address, their address uh, in some cases, their physical address, you know what country they're in, you know what they've bought. And this, obviously you have to be very careful with data protection and GDPR and all of that and look after your customer data. But the fact is you actually know who it is. The other thing is you can market to those customers. You can set up email sequences so that uh, existing customers get coupons and hopefully stay with you to buy direct. And this means you can actually sell more books without spending more money on marketing, which is something we all want to do. So there are many benefits of selling direct. Then of course, one of my favorite reasons is if you already publish wide, so you are not exclusive with any retailer, then why not go further and sell direct? You're already selling in or like these are just some of the different places where your books are. So why not also have selling direct as an option? Now that sounds incredible, doesn't it? But I do want to put a caution on all of this because it's not worth selling direct for everyone. So uh, while I would love for every author to set this up, it's just not worth it for some people. So here are, here are the reasons when it is worth selling direct. So first of all, you do need to own and control your intellectual property. So if you have signed an exclusive deal with any particular retailer, not to mention any names, or if you have signed a publishing contract you may not be able to sell direct. So just check that before you do anything. Then of course there is a cost, it's a small cost, but it's still a monthly cost to use the platforms like BookFunnel and Payhip or an annual uh, cost. You can choose either of those, but essentially you do need to make some money. <laughs> you can't just set it up and make nothing because you will be out of pocket. So it really is best if you have a backlist and also you need a way to drive traffic. So you 
primarily you need an email list. Sure, you can use social media, but to be honest, you get a much better return with email marketing. Yes, again, you can use ads, but you really sell more books direct if you have a relationship with the reader. So for me, it's very much about, okay, I have lots of books. I have over 30 books in fiction and nonfiction and sort of, you know, almost all of those in audio as well. So I have a lot of products. I have like 50 odd products. And then um, I have a podcast. I have a big email list. So for me, it is well worth it to sell direct. Now you have to decide whether it is worth it for you. Now, the other thing is your attitude towards money versus rank or bank versus rank, as is sometimes discussed uh, in the uh, various forums. So no one is going to see evidence of sales when you sell direct. So the money will come into your bank account, but no one, you won't get any bestseller rank, you, none of that will go towards any algorithms on any stores. So you have to be very clear in your mind what is more important to you. So I just wanted to put that caution in your head. And even if you don't want to sell direct right now, or it's not quite worth it right now, it's still worth considering for your career. So there are lots of options for selling ebooks and audiobooks direct. These are just some of the options that I found authors using. So Payhip, obviously I'm gonna go through because I use it. Shopify, Sells, Fastspring, the WooCommerce plugin, uh, eJunkie, ConvertKit also has this option now and PayPal. Some people are just using a PayPal button. And the self-publishing advice blog from the Alliance of Independent Authors has a really great resource on all of these different options and I've linked to that. And again, you can download the slides uh, at the end and, and the links are all in the notes. But I wanted to be clear that there are lots of options and there are more emerging all the time. And I obviously can't do a tutorial on everything. I'm just gonna show you what I use. But a lot of these do integrate with BookFunnel. So just to be clear, I am an affiliate of Payhip and BookFunnel, which means if you use my links, I will receive a small percentage of the sale at no extra cost to you. And of course, you don't need to use my links. You can use payhip.com and bookfunnel.com. But if you would like to use my links, then I highly appreciate it. So I will be talking through my affiliate links as we go through, but I wanted to make this very clear at the front. So if you'd like to support this tutorial and other free things, then please use my links. Thank you. Right, so why do I use Payhip? Well, the main reason is, and I've used lots of things. I've used Sells, I've used eJunkie, I've used uh, PayPal, and I've just tried different things over the years. But in uh, 2015, the EU VAT became a bit of a nightmare, the VAT, um, which is essentially EU taxes. And it became a bit of a nightmare because you had to file taxes in all these different European countries according to where the customer is. Now, this made things very difficult, but Payhip Payhip and a number of the services decided to deal with this by becoming a distributor. Now, this isn't a problem when you sell your books through Amazon and Apple Books and Kobo and Google and all of that. That's not a problem because they deal with the taxes. So what you have to make sure if you are going to sell direct is that you, well, personally, I like to use a service that actually deals with this for me. So uh, make sure that the service you're going to use allows for this. Payhip does, which is why I moved to the service in 2015, basically. Taxes vary by jurisdiction, so please check the whatever service you're going to use for the country that you use and all the tax rules. It's a bit of a pain, but hopefully the service you're going to use will do it and take care of it. So it's not an overhead for you, it's an overhead for them. That's what we like. But again, you don't have to use Payhip. There are various other services that integrate with BookFunnel. At the time of recording this, BookFunnel integrates with Payhip, Sells, WooCommerce, Shopify, and PayPal Direct. So uh, I've linked there to the BookFunnel tutorial on how to link to all of these things, and you can check the one that you want to use. So if you haven't heard of BookFunnel before and you don't use it already, why is it so great? So the first of all is it makes it easy for readers and listeners. And I'm going to show you as we go through, I'll show you on my tutorial how it works. But essentially, if uh, many authors already use BookFunnel to deliver their reader magnet, their free ebook, what's so brilliant is it will deliver to any device that a customer is using. And that's really handy because it used to be a few years back before BookFunnel, we had to help 
help readers get ebooks onto their devices called sideloading, which we kind of don't even talk about anymore because BookFunnel solved this problem. So many authors already use BookFunnel and uh, you can integrate these kind of things or you can, if you do decide to use it for direct sales, then you will probably also want to use it for free book giveaways. And they also have lots of promotional tools and it's just a super useful service for authors. So it makes it easy for readers and listeners. It also makes it easy for you because the book funnel help team deal with customer support. So if you have usually someone who's not very tech savvy emailing you saying, I can't get this book on my X device, whatever the device is, or my phone or whatever it is, then you can direct them to the book funnel help team and they will they will get that ebook onto the device. And this just takes so much pain away from the author life. Uh, I'm just super grateful and I've been with BookFunnel for a number of years now. So again, you can check out my link, thecreativepen.com forward slash bookfunnel. Now, before we get into it, just want to comment on selling print direct because lots of people say, well, why don't you do that? Uh, personally, this is a personal choice. I do know authors who sell print direct, but it does mean you have to manage stock. You have to manage warehousing. You have to do shipping and postage. You can do drop shipping, of course, but print on demand <laughs> essentially deals with all of these issues. So I know, do know some authors who might sell signed copies from their, their house, but personally, I do not want to deal with postage. I don't want to I just don't want to go anywhere near that. So you can use, these are the services. I mean, you can use Payhip for print, um, WooCommerce, Shopify, and PayPal. You can absolutely do these. But personally, I do print on demand. So yes, you can buy all my books in print, but I use Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP Print, Ingram Spark, and actually Aereo, which is an Ingram brand, uh, only available in some countries, and bookshop.org also. You can set up sort of shop fronts and do it that way. But essentially, I'm not going to cover selling print direct because it's not something I do. So before we get into the tutorial, I just want to mention how to sell books directly or how to sell more books directly if this is something you want to do. Because of course, there's no point setting it all up unless you're going to drive traffic to it. So the first thing is obviously to tell people, tell your email list, link on all of your book pages to buy direct from the author. And I'll show you this uh, for me in a bit. Talk about it on your blog, your podcast, if you have one, or when you go on interviews, link on social media. So actually drive people to it. Then also integrate it with your email list. So if you have an established email list and you have set up autoresponders, you can add uh, links within there with special coupon, coupon codes and new subscribers as they go through that email uh, sequence will get that and they'll get used to it. This is the biggest thing. We want readers to get used to buying our books directly. And you can also offer coupons and upsells. So here I've shown you that I've set up, uh, I've set up a coupon for this video, which is if you use coupon tutorial at checkout, you can get 30% off all my eBooks and all my audio books and uh, you can test it out. You can also set up these upsells and I've set up various upsells linking the ebook and the audiobook so that, for example, with this one, if you buy your author business plan as an audiobook, you can get 30% off the uh, author business plan ebook. So doing those kind of discounts means that when people go in to buy one product, they might end up buying a lot more. So again, if you go to payhip.com forward slash the creative pen and choose whatever product you like, you can get 30% off with tutorial all in cash. And I actually have a how to page, which again, you're welcome to model if you do this, thecreativepen.com forward slash payhip dash coupon. And that will actually show you how to apply the coupon at checkout. So uh, hopefully that will help you to understand how it works. I do have free ebooks and I think a free audiobook as well so that you can test this out. Successful self-publishing is free. So you can just test it out. And this is the best way to get to know it as an author is to try it out as a reader. So let's get into the tutorial on how to sell an ebook with book funnel and Payhip. So you're going to head over to payhip.com or if you like, you can use my link, thecreativepen.com forward slash payhip. And you can have a look at what they offer in terms of digital downloads, the different things you can do and the EU VAT, as I mentioned. So if you're happy, check out the pricing and the features and then uh, get started. 
So once you're into Payhip, we're going to add a new product. And you can see the different product types that Payhip can do. And we're just going to do a digital product. So click Add Digital Product. Now, what I tend to do is even though I have BookFunnel deliver the file with an email, I also allow people to download the files because I want, you know, some people prefer to uh, read the PDF or whatever they like and download it themselves. So I do both. However, you can obviously decide what you want to do. So I'm going to upload my product files. Before I do that, I'm just going to add in the title and I'm going to use test example. So I've included the word ebook in the title just to make it very clear that it's an ebook. When I started out doing this, uh, I had some emails from people thinking they bought a print book. So I make it very obvious if it's an audiobook, obviously we'll put audiobook. Then the price, I use US dollars because I find it is the most international currency, but you can uh, choose a different price, a uh, different currency if you like. So I'm going to upload my product files. So I include the EPUB, the Mobi and the PDF in my downloads just to give people a choice and uh, you can obviously choose what you include. Then I'm going to upload the ebook cover and you can embed audio and video so you can make it more dynamic if you like. Then you're going to add your description which is just the sales description uh, from the back of your book. You can format it as you can do on many of the stores. So you can add uh, bold, for example, you can do your bullet points, all the usual formatting fun. I also like to put at the top what this is. So I'm just going to put here ebook includes Moby, EPUB and PDF so that people know what they're getting. And again, that's I found that important because otherwise people say, oh, I thought it was a print book. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> Then you can go into the advanced options and this, uh, if you say that the product is an ebook, then the different tax rates there will be applied. So yes, this is an ebook. You can also include a preview file, a sample file if you want to do that. And uh, you can automatically subscribe customers to mailing lists. Now, I'm not going to do the integration with email in this tutorial. I'm just going to keep it super simple. But there are lots of ways to integrate Payhip with your existing uh, email service. So then you just hit add product. That's going to give you a link and you can also click to uh, have a look at it. And this is what the page looks like. And you can see their test example. You can also add it to your store. So this is payhip.com forward slash the creative pen. And you can see here that you can set up all the different uh, collections they're called in Payhip. And essentially I have nonfiction for authors as audiobooks and ebooks here, nonfiction audiobooks. You can set up all the different things. I've got my fiction separately. And so you can configure your store how you like. So as the test example, that is actually live and I could buy that right now and uh, show, I'll show you that process in a minute. But what I want to do now is set up the book in book funnel so it is delivered in a much more useful way. So now we're going to set up the ebook delivery in book funnel. So you're going to go to bookfunnel.com or if you'd like to use my link, thecreativepen.com forward slash book funnel. And uh, essentially they have a lot of different things for you to have a look at. And we're not going to get into everything today. Uh, obviously, reader magnets I've mentioned previously, I use BookFunnel to deliver my free ebook to readers. And you can also use them for your ARC team and also do sales. And there are also promotional activities. But we're going to just get straight into the direct sales. So again, there are different payment plans with BookFunnel, different options. So you'll need to investigate that for yourself. But I'm just going to log in. OK, so we're going to go to the books area and then we're going to add a new book. So you just fill in the fields. And again, there's so much functionality within BookFunnel. I'm just showing you one part of it. But you can see over on the left hand side here all the different things that you can do with the service. It definitely is for far more than direct sales or free downloads. So we just click Create Book. Now we're going to add in the cover and the ebook files. So I've uploaded the files. I use Vellum for formatting and I've got another tutorial on formatting for ebooks if you and print books if you want to go check that out. That's at thecreativepen.com forward slash Vellum tutorial. But essentially, if you only have a, a Kindle EPUB, it will generate the Mobi for you. BookFunnel will generate the Mobi for you and that can be super useful. 
So once everything is saved and ready, you can then integrate this with Payhip. So you're going to click on sales and then we're going to set up a new delivery action. So we're going to do action, new delivery action. And again, BookFunnel has a lot of help on this. It's not complicated, but if you do need help, then they can help you. So I'm going to call this test productivity. And this is where we choose the book to deliver. So I'm going to deliver my test example productivity ebook, which is the one I just set up. Obviously, you just keep everything named in a sensible manner. And I want to deliver this immediately and I use Payhip. So all you do then is add in your Payhip link and I just unpause this immediately uh, so I can test it. Also, you can reconfigure or retype into this email and uh, if you want to add anything more in there, you can. And that is essentially it. They have lots of uh, delivery page settings that you can change. I just tend to leave everything in the same way. You can also use a Facebook pixel if you're doing Facebook ads. And that's it. We just save and close. Now, this is great. It's going to tell you that hasn't been tested yet and that you need to make sure it works. So let's get on and test it. Okay, so here's our example and to test it, you basically need to buy now. So you can set up uh, promotional things so you can test it for free. That's what I'm gonna do. Obviously, I'm not gonna share that code with you. <laughs> So the buying process, you can buy with a card or with PayPal, you can configure all of that within Payhip. This is where you add in your coupon. So essentially, once you've uh, bought it, you get this immediately and then you can download the files right now. And what's going to happen is as a buyer, I can download this immediately, but I'm also now should get an email from BookFunnel and as well as from Payhip. So the main thing is that the customer gets what they have purchased. And I prefer it that they get it multiple times rather than just the once. So yes, they can download it immediately or they can get it by email. Okay, so going into my email, we've got an email from Payhip. And this also gives me another link to download my uh, eBooks. And what I've added here is, an, uh, is a bit of text that says, if you have any problems, you're also going to get an email from BookFunnel. And I've also included my email address. So hopefully that will be helpful to people. But I also get an email from BookFunnel. And what this does, it arrives, you know, almost immediately. And what people can do is click on the link and it's going to give them the options to get the book. So here I can say, what do I want to read it on? And uh, if I can't, it will give me directions basically for all of this different thing. So if I want to get it to my Kindle, for example, it's going to say, what do you have? And essentially it will help you through the process of getting the book. And this is what I mean about BookFunnel really helping with the customer support. If there's any problems, you could, uh, the customer also gets uh, the email from BookFunnel and they can find support there. So it's super useful. Now it does say you have 13 days to get your book, but you can reset that as well. So people can get it. It's not an issue. And if we pop back into BookFunnel and just uh, refresh, you can see that the uh, the warning has gone away and you can see that my uh, customer details are here. And of course, I'm not sharing my email with you, my private email, but these are, you know, the transactions. You can have a look at that. You can find the transaction in Payhip as well uh, with all the customer details. And then if we come into Payhip, you can see my details are there and essentially you can find the data in the customer area. You can do analytics on your sales and you can set up various marketing options. OK, so that is an example of setting up an ebook with BookFunnel and Payhip. And I hope you can see it's not that difficult. OK, so that was ebooks. And now we're going to get into the tutorial on how to sell an audiobook with BookFunnel and Payhip. So now we're going to set up the audiobook. If you come to payhip.com or use my link, thecreativepen.com forward slash payhip, again, you add a digital product. Now, this time I actually upload a file, a text file that tells people what they're going to get. 
So I essentially use this text. I upload this as a .txt file, but this is what it says essentially, hello, thanks for purchasing, and you're going to get an email from BookFunnel. This again is so that the listener can have a smooth experience with listening to their audiobook rather than downloading a whole load of MP3 files and trying to work that out. And of course, I have included the help at bookfunnel.com email and my own email in case people have a problem with the purchase or the payment. So again, you're welcome to use this as a model for your own file. So that's what I upload as my file there, the readmenow.txt. Then again, you're going to enter your title, your price and the image. I just use my audiobook file and your description. So you add in the cover and also the description. And again, I put at the top very clearly, this is an audiobook. I put the narrator, which in this case is me, and that it's delivered by BookFunnel. Again, you can use various different options and automatically subscribe customers to a mailing list if you want to. Again, I'm not gonna go into the email list integration, but essentially that is everything and I'm gonna add my product. And this is your link and you can have a look at the product page. Here is the audiobook for sale and it's ready to go. So let's go into BookFunnel and set up the integration. So again, we go into books and we're going to set up a new audiobook. So add new audiobooks. Once you've added in all the details, just hit create audiobook. Now here is where you add your files. Then you can just drag and drop your MP3s. If you've been working with a professional narrator, they should be ready to go. So I'm just going to add a couple of files here and you can also change various things with the setup. You can change the order and uh, I'm just going to do the first chapter, number chapter. This is opening credits. Okay, so once you've added everything, then you can just uh, submit the files for processing. Uh, and uh, this is where you will get any warnings or any errors there. You can see I, I didn't upload any credits before, but now they're there. So yes, this is all good. So I'm going to submit for processing. There'll be a warning to make sure that everything's in the right order. Of course, if you do get it entirely wrong, you just have to delete it and start again. But yes, I'm ready to submit. So basically then the audiobook is queued and I will get an email when it is ready. So when it's been processed, you're going to get an email from BookFunnel saying we have finished processing and it is ready for distribution. So now in the same way we did the ebook, we're going to do the audiobook integration. So we go to sales and then action, set up new delivery action. So again, we're going to name it and choose the book to deliver the test example. I want to deliver it immediately. I'm going to integrate it with Payhip and go and get that link. So I just test it immediately. There's various ways to test things. The other thing I do right down the bottom here is I just change this to audiobook so that people know they are uh, getting an audiobook there. Then we're going to save the action. And again, now we're going to test this. So I come back into my test example and then I can download it. Now this is where I'm going to get the read me now document, which I can, uh, the customer will be like, oh, that's interesting. And they'll download it and have a look. And again, that is essentially saying, please check your email for a message from BookFunnel. So I go to my email and I'll get the thank you for your purchase from Payhip, which includes the download of that TXT and the receipt. But the one I want to look at is my book funnel um, email. So this is where the ebook differs from the audiobook. The ebook does have that easy page. The book funnel app is the thing that people are going to need for the audiobook. I can't do a tutorial of how to work on my actual phone. So I'm going to put the screen prints up of what you need to do. So essentially they would need to download the BookFunnel app from the app store of whatever device they have. Then if they open the app and log in, they're going to see the books that they've bought through BookFunnel and this will include the free books that they get. So if a customer has, is more used to using BookFunnel, this is going to be easier. And again, this is why I want more authors to use Selling Direct because the more we can get people listening on different devices, the better for us. But essentially they can uh, go into the file and I'll show you, here's the test example productivity audiobook and they can start listening. Productivity for authors. 
find time to run. And you can see that it is just as good an audio app as anything else. It includes a sleep timer. You can speed up the play speed, which I always listen on 1.5 at the moment. And essentially it is a super useful audiobook app. So there you go. We have set up an ebook and an audiobook with Payhip and BookFunnel. So really there are so many things you can do with Payhip and BookFunnel. I've just given you a brief overview today of selling an ebook and an audiobook direct. So we are done and that was a bit of an epic tutorial but I hope you found it useful. Remember you can download the slides and get all the links and the notes at thecreativepen.com forward slash sell direct tutorial and there's also lots more information at thecreativepen.com. You can get my free author blueprint at thecreativepen.com forward slash blueprint. You can also join me every Monday for the Creative Pen podcast. There's also the back backlist and a transcript for that if you prefer to read and not listen. So thanks for joining me for this tutorial and happy writing and happy selling direct.